Welcome to the Homemaker's Journal. In this video, I'm going to share with you just some of the things that I do on my homemaking journey. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical. We believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprendiva.com. There is art in the homemaker's journey. Whether it's the flowers that one tends in the garden, the pots that sit on the porch by the door, or the dowel quilt that one makes for a favorite niece, there is art in homemaking. And the art is created by the homemaker. There is also routine. I've heard it said that a woman's work is never done, and there is truth in that statement. There is always something that needs doing, and in homemaking, so much of what we do is repetitive. I clean my kitchen and do my dishes every day. Whether I put them in the dishwasher or wash them by hand, dishes are done daily. Meals go on the table as children and husbands have to be fed. Sometimes it's a struggle to come up with something new and interesting. Roast chicken on Sunday, meatloaf on Monday, tacos on Tuesday, and chicken and dumplings on Wednesday. On the other hand, the routine takes some of the angst out of answering the question, what's for dinner? Laundry is certainly a never-ending story. I do one small load each day. It helps me stay on top of things. I make it a practice not to leave laundry in a basket. When it comes out of the dryer, it gets folded or put on hangers and put away. I've learned the hard way that laundry left in a basket ends up on the floor in the dirty clothes hamper and rewashed because it wasn't put away. I don't like washing clean clothes, so when laundry comes out of the dryer, it gets put away. Every few weeks, I work in the pantry wiping the sticky off jars of jam, jelly, or honey, cleaning up little spills or brushing out crumbs. I wipe the shelves down with a solution of bay oil and water. It gives the pantry a nice fresh scent and hopefully deters any critters.
I've been buying oatmeal, sugar, and flour in larger quantities. This requires me to break them down into more manageable portions. And then into the pantry they go. One of the routines I most enjoy is my early morning quiet. When I am the only one up, the television is not blaring and there is no morning sports talk. It's just me and yoga with Adrian. Sometimes I sit with my planner or enjoy a cup of coffee while I look at the birds at my backyard feeders. Sometimes I take this time to read or catch up with a favorite YouTube creator. There is a rhythm, a sameness to the homemaker's journey and it brings me peace. Homemaking is an art and a science. The art includes the creative touches that one does to make and keep a home. From the wall art, to the dishes on the table, to the wearing of an apron to cook and clean, to the treats you pack in your child's lunch bag, or the soup you send to a sick friend. It is those things that you do to make and keep your home. Those things that are uniquely you. The science has to do with preparing meals based upon your family's needs, like gluten-free or keto, low-fat or low-salt. It includes choosing to use natural products like vinegar and baking soda or purchase products like Clorox or Lysol. The homemaker's journey is not easy, but it is rewarding. For more homekeeping inspiration, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out another of my homemaking stories and I will see you next time. And don't forget to visit us at www.aprendiva.com.